Hopefully you've had a ch chance to take a look at the list that is somewhere near this video. It's the ultimate VA task list. Now I know when you look at this, it's a bit overwhelming, but hopefully it's overwhelming in a good way. I want you to be overwhelmed with possibilities, with the many, many things that you can hand over to somebody else so that you can focus on the stuff that you love. My very first virtual assistant, Nika, is still with me today. We're going on almost five years together. Now, when I hired her, I really had no clue what I was doing, and I really didn't feel like I was ready yet. I was barely breaking even in my business, but I knew something had to give. At that time, I was trying to launch a webinar that would lead to the sale of an online course that I was really proud of, but showing up live to host that webinar was just the beginning. Emails needed to be sent. People needed to be tagged, landing pages needed creating, Facebook ads and other promotions needed to be created and scheduled. And who was going to help me with the back end of this live webinar to handle any tech issues that might come up? I needed to be focusing on what I was going to say in this webinar, what I was going to teach in this webinar, and how I was going to introduce this new course, not how I was going to connect my email service provider with Webinar Jam. I realized I was just spinning my wheels. Once I hired Nika, everything changed. Slowly, I started to feel more and more confident about handing things over to her. And that feeling of freedom, the feeling of dropping 100 pounds of bricks off of my shoulders is just indescribable. But let's just say it was an amazing feeling. Suddenly, I could dive into the things that I was good at, that I loved, the things that brought revenue into my business. And I did a few things right with Nika. First, I made sure that she felt like a part of the business from the very beginning, not like a contractor. I wanted her to know that I valued her and that we were going to grow this business together. I set up some really simple systems before she started so that I wouldn't have to micromanage her every second of the day. And at that point, why even hire somebody, right? As we began to grow together, we started documenting our systems so that we could help other people have the same success. And I'm going to be sharing more with you in the next video, but I just want you to know that even if you feel like your business isn't there yet, even if you've tried this before and it didn't work, even if you have no clue right now how you're going to pull this off, I want you to know that when you look at that list, understand that someone else can do everything that's on there and more. And most importantly, I want you to know that freedom in your business is completely possible. I'll see you in the next video.